Hi Yaka students! Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some jumbo candy and lollipops. So um, you're going to need a piece of paper, some kind of thin cardboard, so here I have some recycled leftover matzah cardboard. If you are going to want to make a lollipop, you need some kind of stick. So I took some sushi um, chopsticks and broke it off so I have one. If you have something else, I'm sure you can use that too. But um, if, and if you don't want to make a lollipop, if you want to make more like sucking candies, you just need some saran wrap to look like that little plastic bag that the candy comes wrapped in. You also will need something to tie. If you have pipe cleaners, you can tie those on the ends. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you could just use some tape. So I just taped here. Um, or if you have these kinds of things that come from the supermarket, um, I don't really know what they're called, twisties, I think, you can use that too. So um, all you're gonna do is trace something circular, something round, could be tape, could be you know a container from some coffee, something kind of big, because it kind of looks cool when it's really large. So um, here you could trace this, and you're going to just trace the circle on the piece of paper, and then you're going to trace the same circle on the cardboard. Whoops, I pencil broke. Okay, so we're going to work on the piece of paper. You can work directly on the cardboard, but if you want it, your colors to look lighter and brighter, I would use a piece of paper and we're gonna glue it down on top. Um, for my lollipop, I actually just painted the cardboard with white first, but I know not everybody has white paint at home. So here I have a sample of white paper glued onto cardboard like we're doing right now, colored with markers. And mm -hmm. here I have just colored on the cardboard. So you can see the colors are a little bit darker, but still looks really nice. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I made this one. Okay, so after you trace your circle, you can start decorating in your um, candy pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one first. So you could take a marker or a pencil and make a little dot in the center. It doesn't have to be exact. And you're going to just make a wavy line until you hit the center and come out the other way. Then leave some space. This is gonna be the part where our you know, candy has the swirly design. Go back into the center and go like that. And you can skip over here, go into the center. You can come out the same way if you want and come out that way, go back into the center and I'm pretty much done. So now you can color in your design. So if you wanna make a pattern like that, you'll you know, have one area of color, one area white. If you like this design, you could just keep going in between all of these lines with lots of different colors. That's how I made this one. And if you like the swirly one, very simple, I'll demonstrate on here, you can just start from the center, make a swirl. You can see how the color looks a little bit darker on the cardboard. And then you're going to keep going with lots of different colors and you can use crayons if you have crayons. But uh, I'm gonna keep coloring in my two samples.
and you could just tape it to the back and then you will use yes oh yes i know i need to close the markers then you take a little of this saran wrap i'm going to make this a candy without the, the lollipop and you put it in the middle wrap half of it back this way half of it back this way pinch the sides pinch the sides you can twist them and tape them or use the twisty ties. I'm just gonna use this. You know what? I'm gonna cut one in half. You don't need it to be so long. So if you only have one, that's perfectly fine. And I actually like the red color. And now you have your jumbo candy. So this can go on the wall. If you have a little extra cling wrap, you know, you could cut it. And I'll cut it later. Looks a little bit long but you can stick this on the wall and, or if you make a bunch of lollipops, you can put them in a vase, kind of like a bouquet that will never dry out. So I can't wait to see your giant candy.